Okay, here's a, uh, a quick lesson on You Found Glory's Head On Collision. Uh, someone requested it. I figured it's a song I hadn't played in a long time, let alone haven't heard in a long time. Um, but it's a great song. It's got a fun solo in it. It's not that hard, but it's definitely cool to show off with if you're not, <coughs> if you're still learning. But um, it's an easy song. It's got a lot of repetitive parts. Um, I'll just get right into the uh, intro. It goes like this. <laughs> play a little slower and then uh, the main chords in the song that you want to worry about are these uh, those are like the main four that are played uh, in the choruses and such and then uh, you'll even play some other chords but uh, <coughs> I'll play the full intro and then I'll start go with the verse and all all that stuff. So it goes like this. And uh, anytime you're playing that riff, that that chorus riff, it's always <coughs> goes. It's always two different. Uh, runs through it's always two different versions and you always alternate them so one of them you're ending like this and one of them you're ending like this so <clears throat> hopefully you don't get uh, too mixed up with that um, the verse is really simple it's just two two different chords um, I like to turn down my guitar a little bit or you could even switch to another uh, channel and it just goes like this <laughs> get the idea and then it just switches to uh, an alternate version of uh, the strumming and so on um, then it just goes into a, a heavier gain part and it just uh, it's just an open E power chord just goes like this and all that really is is just a build up to the chorus um, you play it a little differently later which is kind of fun it's a little uh alternative to that one but it just goes into the chorus and the chorus is the same thing as before and I'll show you that again and then you, you might even play it another uh, one time through or so and then it just goes back into the verse and then the same stuff over again and then <coughs> comes the solo I believe that's the uh, the next part after all the ones I played and it's actually pretty simple um, I won't refer too much to like which where my fingers are but you could just refer to the uh, the tabs that I put up but I'll play it I'll play it fast and then I'll play it slow <laughs> It's a little, uh, a little fuzzy, but you get the idea. Here it is slower. If you try and uh, remember it in parts, it'll make it a little easier. Like, the first part, you're just going in between notes from the uh, open A, so it goes like this. As you notice, it's just alternating uh, like between different strings and then between the open A, so that's pretty simple. And then the other little part <coughs> is, is simple. You're just playing the same, uh, same little hammer on or whatever it is, uh, but two different root notes. It goes like this. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, the, uh, a part that comes after this is uh, like the little alternative part that I showed you before to the palm muting, and it goes like this. Uh, 
Um, the rhythm is a little weird, but if you listen to the song enough or you just know the song that well, uh, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out at all. Um, and then it just goes into uh, another chorus, the, uh, the outro chorus. And you can either play the chorus riff or you can do the solo that's going in the background. But the thing about the solo is it's only playing the first part of it, so it just goes like this. <laughs> be a little bit of changes in there um, it's kind of hard to pick out and I only played it through once before re uh, redoing this but um, that should be everything for the song uh, if I missed anything it's probably just a couple uh, stops and pauses and stuff like that it shouldn't be uh, anything to sweat about but uh, any questions feel free to ask and uh, here's head on collision <laughs>